Today we're at the York CLP meeting, the York Constituency Labour Party meeting. What we're doing now is based around what happened in Cleveland, the principle within Cleveland. This whole community wealth building, and it fits very well into something that Jeremy Corbyn said. To be honest, I read about a lot of it on the internet and I thought, well, is that happening in America? You know, because the perception of uh, the American economy is often, I didn't realise things like that were happening in America. It's linking what the public sector buys to having jobs which are democratic and in the ownership of the people who live within the community, I thought was really, really appealing. We started by going around six of our large anchor institutions. So initially we, we got them to uh, commit to things like paying a living wage, but also shifting more of what they buy to the local economy so that's initially supported a lot of local businesses so the 75 million pounds which in 2016-17 was redirected towards preston based suppliers what we're finding is that there's more people receiving the living wage we're now the best in uh, 14 district areas in Lancashire for people receiving £8.75 an hour or more. But also things like the amount of jobs that are in the local economy. We're now one of the best in Lancashire for the amount of jobs that are in the local economy compared to the amount of people who are within that local economy. I always believed in these ideas very strongly, but I think uh, myself and many others as well have been proven right, especially with the 2008 crash and the austerity we've had and the you know, growing levels of inequality. I think the ideas are right for this. And we've obviously seen a, we've seen a very strong political expression within my movement of Jeremy Corbyn becoming leader of the Labour Party. But I think we need to have these transnational movements now. So if we're talking about this really essential idea about the need for more democracy in our economies to avoid another economic crash and to make sure people have healthier and richer lives, it's becoming a global movement. So it's happening in American cities it's beginning to happen here in York, where we are today, but in other cities in the UK are very interested, you know, many in London as well. The time's right now to make that change. Um, I came up here from Leicester, which is about 100 miles away. But I just thought it would be a day of really exciting ideas, ideas exchanged with people you've got common ground with, and, and also talking about the way that things are done in different cities. Um, one of the things that was most interesting about finding out about the American experience and about what's happening in Preston is that even though our cities are run quite differently, they're demographically quite different, you can still use quite a lot of the same ideas to improve people's lives, to improve um, well-being in the local area and to improve wealth because we all have common problems like housing issues, like low wages and so lots of us are dealing with the same kinds of challenges even though in very different places with very different levels of wealth. We're hoping that this event is going to be really, really useful for not just York Labour Party, uh, but York. We had today the most fantastic discussion because this city, like all the cities in, in the UK, has suffered from uh, cuts, austerity, in a word, neoliberalism. And we need to get our city back on its feet. We've had a problem with housing, jobs, low pay, a whole range of issues. And Today we had ordinary people came together to actually come up with radical solutions for the problems that they face and in that sense it was just tremendously empowering. And one way that I thought was absolutely amazing uh, was this whole idea of setting up local banks and after the banking collapse of 2008 the idea of the Bank of York you know, run for the interests of local people for this city. I find that very inspiring actually. In many ways the Western world has been kept afloat on vast quantities of debt, of quantitative easing, of, of, uh, of financial shenanigans I think really. All times come to an end and the sooner you have to pay the piper, anyone who's looked at, uh, at human history and speculative bubbles knows that that time comes and quite frankly I think that time has come now. We as ordinary people need to start getting back in control um, of our destinies. I would urge uh, any American viewers please find out what's happening in the UK Labour Party and find out about Jeremy Corbyn's uh, leadership and about the policies that we're developing because I bet they'd ring some bells in America as well.